All right, somebody in YouTube comments kind of wanted to see like a little bit of a tour of my uh, Nano Sky Hunter with Vector build. Um, so I'll start on the outside and then we'll open up and take a look. Uh, as far as servers and such are concerned, it's pretty much stock, nothing too special. Um, I did buy the kit version, so I supplied my own servers. I'm using the Hobby King Turnigy uh, 5009. So it's all my own components. I figured if I'm going to put the Vector in, I might as well just build it from the ground up. Uh, rather than trying to take it apart. So um, I do have GPS cut into the wing. Um, I could cover this for now. I'm just leaving it exposed. Uh, I don't know. Um, it, I kind of like it exposed, but maybe later on if I decide to cover it, no big deal. Just throw a piece of tape or sticker or something over it. And then on the underside, you can't really see it, but that's kind of how it's routed. It's it's cut into the foam here, and then I don't want to peel the tape up. I'm sorry. Uh, and then the wires, I cut a trannel and ran the wires into the fuse, and we'll show that side of it too in a minute. And then same thing kind of for the Peter tube. Um, the Peter tube is here, and I ran the wires under. So I can brighten that up a little bit, maybe, maybe not. That's a light. So um, maybe you can see, maybe not. But I basically ran wires under the pod, and they actually come out on the other side. And these are the air lines, and the actual sensor is under here. I'm sorry, trying to do is holding the phone and everything. But the actual sensor is under here where that little bulge is. And I did cut it into the phone, but not, it's kind of thin, so I couldn't go too deep. Um, and then the actual wires coming off of that sensor go in. I did mount a panel mount USB. Um, which I picked up from Adafruit, but you can get them on Amazon, a bunch of different places. And really, that's just because when I want to access the vector, and that's actually popped out a little bit. I'll push it back in here. When I want to access the vec vector, I don't want to have to take it apart. Um, I like being able to access it on the fuse. And I could probably glue that or whatever, but I just, I don't know, it's been fine. I'll just leave it as it is for now. Um, so that's pretty much it for the outside. Um, I am running a Cobra Champion motor. Yeah, Cobra Champion with the silver bottom. It's the 5045 version 2. Um, and I picked those up from Ready Made. You can get them in different colors, but um, I picked it up in white. Uh, video transmitter is cut into the fuse a little bit. Kind of sunk it in. I cut the ears off. This is the Ready Made RC Cricket. Uh, beware when running this transmitter with the vector. Um, you're not going to use it stock. You're going to need a capacitor across the power lines. Um, otherwise, this thing draws too much inrush current and browns out the power supply on the vector and then causes this to reset. So you'll never actually get this powered up and transmitting without the capacitor. As far as cameras are concerned, right now I have a Runcam HD2 on there. I get rid of the light. But I actually have interchangeable camera keys. Um, there's a run cam owl if I want to do some night or late evening flying and then just a normal run cam swift if I don't care about recording and I want to save the weight. Um, and the way those work is I basically have server leads on all of them and I'll pop the existing one off and as you can see that's connected. So I'll go ahead and disconnect that now. Um, but just whatever camera I want I plug in there and I'm ready to go. And then just a little strip of Velcro down in there. Um, I have my AMA number or FA number in there. And then uh, Anderson power pole. And then taking the wing off, I already loosened these bolts. Now, I had an accident and I had the, the factory wing bolt washers actually pull through the wing. So I 3D printed, I'll focus here maybe. I 3D printed uh, a little custom new bracket here and you'll see. Um, how that is because of the holes and that's the pre-existing holes that got pulled through from the factory wing bolts. And there's only so much I'm going to really be able to take this apart to be honest but I'll try my best. Unscrew. Get that out of the way. And the rat's nest. Right, so <clears throat> flip this over. I'm using a a loft wing connector. It's six pins, and I put a little hot glue in there to act as strain relief. But I'm using six conductors there, and then I also have also have another servo connector. There we go. I have another servo connector here to provide two more wires for power. And I forget the exact pin out that I had on all this, but basically I 3D printed a little custom uh, mount for the receiver. 
and the vector. And I decased the vector in order to save weight and space. And you can see that that's bolted on using the corner holes. And so basically I have to get um, receiver signal down to the ESC which is inside and I have to get video to and from the camera and the video transmitter also going back to the vector. So that's where all the wires are coming in. And then of course servo with throttle signal. And then down inside the fuse, I have a five volt castle uh, Beck. And then I have the Eagle Tree current sensor down in there. And then on the other side, you can see, let's see if I can see it. Ah, right there, center frame. Uh, let's see if I can point it. It's going to be kind of hard to point to. But center frame is the capacitor. And that's basically, let's see, right here, right or where my finger is, right there. The little, like, tan looking piece. You can kind of see it probably. So that's the cap, and it's, that's all hot glued in. And then the ESC is wedged in back here. And it's a little bit of a rat's nest, but um, that was the advantage of building it from the kit version is the two fuselage halves weren't together. So I was able to kind of start to plan all this out and even start to glue some things in place and pre-wire before I joined the two halves together. Oh, and there's my uh, USB. Let's have my USB, which, that's a mess. But it breaks out to, let's see, there's, there's USB right here. So it breaks out to the three wires and then goes into my little custom USB. So um, that's basically it. I hope that helps answer some questions and gives some ideas. Uh, it's a tight build because it's a small plane and the vector does have a lot of wires so there's no real secret sauce. Um, the 3D printed mount was a big help because it allowed me to get that stuff out of the inside of the fuse which gave me a little bit more working room but I still have to work around uh, the cat anchor plate. So. Um, there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and throw this thing back together and get it ready for flight again. So I hope that helps give some ideas or uh, ideas and stuff. So thanks. Bye.